Hey everybody, I here is here. Welcome back to the long dark. Doing a little bit of bus cooking. I had to shoot a wolf on the way out here. I realized that my OBS recording was not recording the correct uh, video, so I had to. Yeah, that's the wolf I shot. As you can see, he's limping pretty good. I think I hit him twice, maybe. He left a good amount of blood. I'm pretty tired right now. But uh, it looks like they respawned, and it looks like they're leaving me alone in the uh, bus so far. So that's good, but we're a little bit hungry. Uh, I've gone about two days where I was just kind of sitting around doing nothing. And yeah, I've taken my medicine. So here at midnight, after midnight, I'll take another dose of medicine. We'll be down to two doses. And I think we're, as long as the weather's good tomorrow, I think we're about ready to get out of here. Got some pretty big channel news. Uh, once this series is over, take a little break. Maybe for a couple, two, three weeks, something like that, from the long dark. And then return with a vengeance for the uh, challenges. I'm going to do all the challenges except Dark Walker, because I've already done that one during the Halloween event. So no need to repeat that. But there's uh, seven other challenges that I haven't... I think the last time I did challenges, there's only like two or three. And uh, it's been so long ago. There's been so many updates. Uh, things have changed. So I'm willing to jump back and do that and looks like we probably have a sponsor with it we're in negotiations right now going back and forth with the numbers but probably gonna have a, a sponsor which is kind of cool because uh, it's a company that I have respect for I kind of I got uh, there was a company that reached out to me a survival supply company a uh, very large one at that that you probably hear on podcasts and radio shows and things like that but um, they reached out and uh, just couldn't get on the same page with them uh, had had trouble just getting in contact and them getting in contact with me and things like that. So while that was going on, I started reaching out on my own to other companies that uh, I'd seen advertised before as sponsors on other videos, on other channels. And uh, uh, one of them uh, has worked out really well so far. So that should be exciting. That might be a huge, huge game, cha game changer for the uh, channel. But time will tell. I'm trying not to get my hopes up, even though I'm not very good at that. Because I find every time I get excited about something, it uh, tends to fall through. <laughs> so I'm not getting excited. All right, let's drop another... Uh, let's drop a fir wood on it this time. There we go. And you know what? Let's cook up a little water while we're here. Might as well. Since we got that open slot. All right. Should be able to get maybe a liter of water out of this before this is ready, or about the same time this is ready. There we go, perfect. And I'll keep going here with this. Yeah, we got plenty of time. This will give us some travel and water. Where are we at now with our water? Yeah, it's pretty good. What are we doing on time here? 30, oh, that should be perfect. I'm waiting for the wolf to yelp and die. And I think we're at... Let me pick that up. That thing's got to be super hot. So we can't run, but we can shoot just fine. So... Oh, there he goes. He just dropped. And he dropped right over... I see one carcass in front of us there and one over there. I think that's the fresh one over there. So... All right, let me see here. So it goes, okay, so two now goes straight to noisemakers, huh? All right, well, that's good to know. Let me uh, reload, take up my brass. There we go. All right, I'm nervous. <laughs> I think there's another one running around here somewhere. But that was weird, I hit two and it went straight to the pistol this time. I gotta smell like meat right now. Hmm. I don't really want to have to shoot my way out. You know what I could do? Is there enough? No, nah, there's not enough to grab a uh, torch out of there. All right, let's just go. A little stinky. Well, I think that's the one on the other side of the fence. So I think we're safe. I think we've eliminated all the threats in the yard. You gotta do. 
when you're in prison, you just gotta beat up the toughest, toughest guy. Or in this case, shoot, shoot the toughest one. Shoot the alpha. All right. So let's go ahead and have our meds. These challenges are going to be a lot of fun. I can tell. I, I'm just, I'm really excited to do them because uh, they really have like a, you know, focus purpose and all that sort of stuff. And um, they, they should last us, I hope, until episode five is really, or chapter five, whatever you want to call it, is released for story mode. And uh, yeah, that should be a good time. So let's go ahead. She's super tired, super hungry. I'm going to go ahead and grab a little nom noms here. Grab some nom noms, have a little drink. And we should be down to two. Double check that, make sure. Yep, two doses left. We're doing just fine. All right, let's go ahead and get our sleep on. See you guys in the morning. She's recovering nicely there. We'll be maxed out. As healthy as we can be with this uh, ailment. All right, 122 days, 8 hours, 54 minutes. And uh, it's, it's like midday, but we can make it to... We can make it off the map. So I'm going to grab players, all these noisemakers. All right, there we go. Cured wolf pelt. I don't think I really need that. Take that ballistic vest. Now we're a little heavy. That's okay. Uh, I I will probably fill up my lantern if it isn't already full. Um, probably just eat these for the time being and give her a drink as well. Let's just max out our food. There we go. I don't really want to carry the meat. Did I actually eat the whole thing? Wow, I must have been hungry. Hungrier than I thought. So, let's see here. Um, yeah, that's right. I picked up the jerry can already. Let's find that lantern. Use it. Refuel it. And then drop that jerry can. Right, I'm gonna drop. Uh, I'm gonna drop these. I don't think we're gonna need them anymore. Keep that charcoal. Drop that. Now we're underweight. Uh, let's go ahead and. I guess we could put on the. Uh, the way I travel, I. I really don't. Need to be running that much. So, throw that on, and I think it will be. Less weight now. Hold on. Hit the wrong key there. Thirty-seven. Okay. Not much. Got the crowbar, got some ammo. It's, it's just, okay, cool. We can run a little. A little. That's right. We'll take those. Take that air shaft. Take that jer jerky. Cattail stock, sure. Uh, I don't need... I, don't, I already have a ton of charcoal. I'll take that emergency stim, though. And these are really easy to... Okay. We honestly don't need the heavy hammer. Chips... Marine flare, sure. Just keeping an eye on. I think we have plenty of pain meds, but I'll just take one. All those casings. And the boat. Will be a little bit over. But uh, not too bad. And how are we doing with our... I'm pretty sure we sharpened everything up, didn't we? 89 and 100. That's fine. Yeah, no worries. Oh, I got to take the hunting rifle. Wait, I'm not carrying the hunting rifle yet? Oh yeah, that's gonna be a little heavy. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay, well, not too bad. Oh, you know what? Let's see here. I want to check. Just double check everything here. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. Take a coal in case I need to start a fire. Make it nice and hot. Otherwise, I think we're good. Uh, I don't really see a whole lot around here. I'm too interested in uh, a bunch of sticks, sticks, reclaimed wood, can opener. All right, that book we've already read. Um, yeah, okay, well, whoever finds this place is going to be happy. Let's get out of Blackrock, shall we? So there is a uh, nice cave. Oh, it's nice. It's not too bad. So there's a nice cave, like right, if you go right up through here and then right there, there's a nice cave. It's not a loadable cave. It's an outdoor style cave. I consider it outdoors. But once you go for, far enough back into it, obviously you're... It temperature goes up a little bit there. Uh, usually enough to sustain you through pretty much any type of weather. Occasionally you'll need to start a fire back there if it's a really, really cold night. But uh, all in all, it's a nice cave. 
So if you, if the prison bus just ain't working for you, and you're trying to stay, uh, stave off some uh, cabin fever, by all means, check that cave out. I don't think you're going to be too disappointed. So we got our armor on, and I have no idea how helpful this is, but I imagine when you get into one of these wolf encounters and they start nipping at you, uh, it, you're probably pretty safe. Also, I imagine during... I have to wonder if during a uh, moose attack, if you get stomped by the moose, if it keeps you from uh, breaking ribs. I've always thought, you know, if I was ever in an accident in the cruiser, and I have my... You know, I always wear my vest, obviously, when I'm on in uniform. Um, but if I ever have that happen, and I'm in a vehicle accident, I imagine that vest is going to really help me protect my uh, internal organs pretty well. In addition to all the airbags and safety features those cars have nowadays anyway. Corporal zones. All that. But, uh, yeah, so let's head on down here. We go right past the, uh, what is it? The jailer's residence? The dilapidated jailer's residence? And then we kind of hook a left, go up towards that uh, blocked bridge. And then we kind of work our way down and around to get out of here and get to the... I think it's the North Pass is what they call it. But it is what it is. Let's uh, let's get going here. Man, nice day for this uh, travel too. So it's, this has been the best day in the last three that I kind of just hung out around the jail and just passed time, slept, and chomped down some meds. That's all I've done. start looking for wolves around every corner. <laughs> Can't help it. Start to get really focused. You can tell when, when I get focused. And when it's a map that I'm not... I haven't really got super comfortable with, like Mystery Lake. Yeah. I think we can just jump up over it. Well, no, let's just stay on the road. No need. No, we can do it. We can shortcut. <laughs> We can shortcut, because we have sprains turned off. There we go. That's not so bad. Now, the last time we were down here, there was... Just past where we turned, there were some wolves lurking about. I think they were timber wolves? I can't remember. If they were just regular wolves or timber wolves. Regardless, wolves that would like to put the, the chomp on us. We're going to try to avoid that if at all possible. So I've messed around a little bit with the uh, OBS recording settings. You guys got to let me know how it's looking. Some people were saying there's a little jitter, uh, jitteriness in the videos from time to time. I'm trying to get that... Uh, taken care of. I try to glance over when I can, make sure that there's not like an over, it's not overloading the system, the encoding system. Um, so far I haven't seen any issues. It's looking good. CPU usage, uh, 1.3%, <laughs> but it is using mostly the graphics card. So, all right, two Milton. Here we go. I wonder how, how far we're going to get in this episode. Are we going to make it all the way back, or are we going to just make it part of the way back? Well, we're going to have to stay the night somewhere. Um, do I... Which way do I go? I'm trying to remember. Do I go this way? To get around? I don't think so. Right? No. Can't go that way. Okay, must be, must be back around this way. Just a little bit. I don't. This kind of looks like a path, and I think I went up here, and it was not. Or wait a minute, does it go this way? No. Okay. 
Yeah, I think this was just a dead end for us. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I turned too early. Must have. This feels a little more this is yeah this is the right way I think there's a split here through here through the rocks yep okay here we go I don't remember seeing any wolves in this area but it doesn't mean there isn't interesting back there. I can kind of see something back there, but I don't want to go adventuring places that I probably shouldn't go. I learned my lesson from that. All right, we're making progress. We're about to get out of here, at least out of the Black Croc proper region. And we'll head to uh, this little transition zone here, the North Pass or whatever it's called. the tunnel. That's what we were looking for. Yeah, she's getting fatigued faster, isn't she? I guess it's, it's maybe it's because I'm carrying a little extra weight. I'm encumbered. But uh, maybe possibly because she's sick also. There we go. Let's leave Black Blackrock. So long, Blackrock. It's been real. Keepers Pass North. That's what it's called. Onward. If memory serves, when I got up here, I thought there was a wolf ahead of us on the path. I can't remember if it was timber wolf or just regular wolf, but I think there was one. Lurking about up here. Like, maybe... Maybe he's gone home for the evening. But, uh, I I just don't like uh, I just don't like these areas that are closed off like this. They always make me nervous. Always do. Kind of reminds me of Coastal Highway. Oh, that looks like fun. Oh, that bridge. Yeah, that looks cool. Looks really cool. Do I have to take that bridge? I can't remember. I think maybe I do. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I can just go this way. Gonna make it happen? Or is this not going to lead anywhere? This probably won't lead anywhere. Well, I think I need to take that bridge. So I need to figure out how to get over there. And I don't want to fall in the water. And I, why would I want to go down this rope? Next question. Where does this thing lead? Does this lead down to somewhere? Let me take a peek. Try not to slip and fall off the edge. That doesn't look like a very beneficial place to go. Unless it leads to like a cave system that takes you through it. Okay, let's go find our way across that bridge. A lot of backtracking in this this particular episode. What's our temperature at? Negative one degrees. We can pretty much survive for days at that temperature. It's not too hateful at all. We'll take it. It's the wind that's uh, that'll get you. 
Now, can I get over here? Probably not. I think this is a ledge. Just want to check it to make sure. So there's a whole other area down there. All right, there's got to be a way to get over this way. I really don't want to have to drop stuff just to climb down. Spend the night headed up. I grab my uh, bedroll. Thought I did. Yeah, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Had I not, I would not have drug you back for that. I would have just turned off the recording, walked all the way back, and said, Hey guys, welcome to part 70. This is what happened. Here we go. I think this is going to lead us to the bridge. straight ahead of us here. This honestly wouldn't be too bad of a place to pull up if the wind uh, would take into account how how blocked in it is there. So just ignore the swaying of the bridge. Just walk straight. It's fine. Minor adjustments. Just like driving a car. Builder's Bridge. Let's see what's over there. See, I can't see what would really be appealing over there. Interesting. Not sure why you'd want to go down there. Well, we're on the other side. We'll probably make it to the uh, trailers that we uh, stopped off at on our way into Black Rock initially. That's the plan anyway. It's starting to get a little foggy. I don't like fog. Say it every time. Oh, hey, that looks familiar. Damn taggers. Oh. Here's the. Okay, now I want to see what this rope leads to. Nothing obvious. Can't really see down that far because maybe because of the fog. That's probably the primary reason. I guess it's been a little too long for me to. Uh, Backtrack with my footprints at this point, huh? I think this is sort of a. Is there a building here or something? Like a, a broken building? There's <laughs> evidence of me being here. Cattail heads all over the ground. I don't think we go that way. Let me stay this way. I think there's like a broken down shack over here or a little barn with a saw stuck in a. Stump or something? Like a two two person stall? Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of something different. Okay. Yeah, must be thinking of something different. Such a weird environment. So eerie. Hear all the creaking and stuff like that. Like at any moment, one of these trees is just gonna land on your head. Completely ruin your day. What is that? Oh, okay, it's not a sleeping bear. It's a long walk, man. I think we can just climb down here. This is sort of like one of those. Yeah, we can just work our way down like so. 
No, we're not going to do that. Where's the fun in that? Let me make sure the coast is clear first. Ah, I see I see cattail heads down here. That's good. Maybe this is where I'm thinking about it. Yes, 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 yes. There should be a two-handed saw in one of these stumps, I think. And if there is, I'm going to be very impressed with my memory. Especially as now that I'm like an old man. Hey, here it is. Okay, cool. That's good. Forester's Hermitage. Okay. Let's keep on keeping on. I guess we can always stay back there. There's probably uh, plenty of firewood. And uh, there's probably a stove in there, too. We have to rough it. Just making sure don't have any sticky lines. Feels like negative two degrees Celsius. Should call this the long walk instead of the long dark. So this is version 2.0. I guess there was a lot of updates, a lot of bug fixes, things like that. Not like new things added, like equipment or maps or region, anything like that. But it looked like there was a lot of little uh, like graphical glitch errors uh, that were fixed, and they introduced, like they incorporated the new Unity engine into the game. So I went through the whole change, like well, not the whole change list, but about. Uh, I don't know, the first hundred items. And there wasn't anything that really popped out. It's like, oh my gosh, that's something that I got to start looking for in the game. Nothing really like that. I should be a little tuckered out by the time we get there. Heck, I'm about ready to need to take a nap. Now this would be a this would be a good spot to hold up if we had to, as long as we didn't have wolf patrols or anything like that. But uh, very well protected in here. So still negative two degrees Celsius. But uh, if we needed a fire, we could get one going and be in pretty good shape. I do remember coming through here now. And yes, we got ourselves a little area that we have to duck through. Rabbits. Cool. If rabbits are alive, I think I can do the same. Keep that rabbit going ahead of us here. My decoy rabbit. He's my blocker. No, 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 no. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. You go that way. You go. No, you don't. You want to go back, don't you? Yeah, he did. He slipped through. He slipped through. Yeah, I don't think he's allowed to go any further. I think, uh, I think I'll get grounded. He goes any further, Mama Rabbit. Put the put the smack down on him. Oh, more cattail heads. Like uh, it's like my wilderness version of Hansel and Gretel. You know, for an adult. Not breadcrumbs, but uh, cattail heads. Yeah, the fog really makes it kind of an odd feeling, too. Are we going to finally get out of this? This ravine? Finally? Maybe? Is it asking too much? <laughs> That's, it's, it's now, I guess technically it's now nighttime. More than half the sun is down and more than half the moon is up, so... I think officially it's nighttime. We can't be too far off now. Ah. Claustrophobia. 
eliminated. Agoraphobia has now set in. Astrophobic, agoraphobic. Uh, I don't know. This one? Uh oh. I have to make a decision now. Little pixies. Oh. Ah, there we go. Let's leave. Keepers pass north. Ah, here we go. Yeah, we can just hang out here for the night. Let's go through the. Uh, here, I'm going to go ahead and fire up a, the lantern. For all y'all's benefit. There. There we go. Let's uh, go through here, and then uh, as we get to the end of it, we'll just. Uh, we'll uh, sleep at the end. And then uh, in the morning, we'll continue on. Which way do I go? I don't know which way to go. This is a dead end. Maybe this is one of those ones where it joins up. Doesn't really matter which way you go. They, they just sort of reconnect a little bit further down. Really not nailed the... Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's what it, that was right there. Really nailed the uh, sort of alien sound in these caves. Okay. okay. All right, fine. I'll go back. Backtrack. Part 70. Backtracking. Not backpacking. Backtracking. While backpacking. This is exactly why I have like what is it, a, a ton of kilometers walked on foot. Okay, so I think that cuts across here. Ooh, forgot about this. Pretty. Oh, so pretty. And probably already searched. Yes. It's like fangs. It's like I'm going through. Kind of reminds me of uh, what was it, Quest for Glory 5 at the start. There's a cave and it kind of looks like a mouth with fangs. Nice. I was going to say that that really dates me, but I just dated myself earlier. I told you my actual age. Just to just kind of walk up this way, maybe. Yeah. Let's just head up this way. So on average, uh, here's a question for you guys out there that have completed all the challenges. For each challenge, how long did it take you? Like, in hours, I guess. Because I'm trying to get a feel for. How many episodes is going to be for each challenge? If I don't, you know, I have to backtrack a million times. What the? F Keepers pass south. Did I just do a big old circle? Stand by. I don't want to. I'm a little confused now. Keepers Pass South. That's back in Blackrock, isn't it? We're gonna have to go through both of those. I don't know. We're gonna. Yeah, let me stow this here for now. There we go. And it's probably about time to get some sleep. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, I don't want to go out and about when I'm almost completely exhausted. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, sleep. Eat and sleep, right? Still got a lot of food on board, so I really don't need to even do that. There we go. All right, yeah, we got 1,300 calories 
armored sprain wrist risk um intensive parasites okay of course so let's go ahead and sleep for as long as it'll let us I think we're probably gonna sleep for about eight, nine hours. Thereabouts. 123 days, three hours, two minutes. All right. Oh, okay, it's good. It's right in the morning. So, let's uh, go out here and see where this leads. Not 100% sure about this. Is this, is this where I want to be? Back south. Oh, are we back in Black Rock? No, hold on. I think this is the right place. Yeah, isn't this where the wolves were down here along the river? And I had to kind of dodge them a little bit. I hear a wolf. Think, yes. I think I want to get over there. I think that's where I want to go. Can I cross here? That's the question. Without breaking the ice. I think I can. Hope I'm going the right way. If I end up wasting your guys' time on this. I apologize. I apologize. So bad. Oh. Okay, you scared me as much as I just scared you. Uh, am I running the wrong way? I think I'm running the wrong way. What? I like literally shot him. Major bruising, huh? I shot him right in the head before he hit me, and that was like well before he hit me. Man, I got I got jump scared on that one. I think this is the right way. Die already. Don't reset. Yeah, okay. He's gonna keep freaking out on me. Oh my gosh. It's good to know the game still surprises you. Whew. Yes, I think this is correct. Could it be? There it is. There's the trailer. All right, somehow I bumbled my way through that. Oh, well, I'm going to pat myself on the back for somehow managing to get lucky at every turn, almost, except for the first couple turns. And I'm going to pat you guys on the back for being so patient. So we shouldn't have any, yeah, we don't have any injuries. Just had a major bruising, which I find kind of surprising. Considering I should have, like, blasted that dog's half, his, or half, half that wolf's head off. Alright, well, I don't think we stop here. We can keep going. Um, Mirthless Fork. Uh, we'll probably stop here and warm up, actually. Might not be the worst idea. What was that? Was that my stomach, or was that a wolf growling? I couldn't tell. I could not tell. Oh. <sighs> Oh my gosh, I feel so much better now. I hate being unsure like that. Oh, we'll take a recycle can because we need to make some water. We can double up on it. Moldy chocolate bar? No! No, that's very moldy. Um, I'm just going to rest for about two hours. Let me make sure I have enough water. I do. Okay. Let's rest for about two hours. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. Making it back here. This is this was my goal for this episode. Anything beyond this is sort of like a, a, just a bonus. Can you eat trees? Because I'm gonna. 
Yeah, what that sign doesn't tell you is like it's 50 miles that way. Alright. Gee, my Christmas, man. I swear. Can we just like pass each other and live in peace or something like that? Or is that too much to ask? Goodness gracious. Oh, get me out of this region. I'm pretty sure we already checked that vehicle, but I'm going to keep going. Because there's a, there's a storm coming. I can't remember if there's a decent cave between here and the next region or not. Or if it just transitions straight into more blizzard. We're going to find out, though. And if we have to walk back, at least the wind's going the right direction for now. Could possibly change a lot in the near future. right there. That's for those reasons I travel with the pistol out. Let's push past south. Okay. Oh. oh yeah. Pleasant Valley. Not so Pleasant Valley, but I'll take it. Don't care. Happy. Happy, happy, happy. Alright, guys. This is like the victory lap right here. Heading on back home. And we'll have some fun in the next episode. Mystery Lake. Assuming we survive getting there. But, uh... Just want to make sure my rifle is all loaded up first. Here, let me do a reload. Okay. Yeah, we'll just goof off. In the, in the next episode, if we can make it to Mystery Lake... And we might need uh we might need the entire next episode just to make it to Mystery Lake. I don't know. Uh, it all depends, I guess. The wind direction is not really helping us get there post haste, you know. Yeah, so Yeah, it just kinda threw you right back into the storm. So it's at like zero miles an hour trying to get behind some cover so that we get a little bit of wind block and I can walk like a normal person for half a second. Is that too much to ask? Really? There we go. Yeah, so just enough to run into the tree, basically. And the wind happens to be coming, like, directly at us. Not much we can do about that. Except, I guess, enjoy the scenery and the little rabbit hopping around up there. Happy as could be. Yeah, next next episode might might just be the uh, the last leg of the trip, and then uh, maybe one more after that. So maybe we'll end up with um, seventy two episodes in the series. Regardless, it's been a really fun series, and uh, this is a series that for those of you that don't know, don't they don't have Twitter or anything like that, but um, this series, the first episode, is my first one million viewer episode ever. So. Thank you so much for those of you that started at the first video and have made it all the way here. Greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah, it, it took me a year on that one, but uh, it happened. It happened rel relatively quick. I, what happened was you guys really blew up the video with lots of uh, long, like viewing it for a long duration and leaving, um, leaving likes really caused it to rank high gets not just recommended on uh, subscriber feeds but to uh, get recommended on to, to Joe Schmo you know just sort of randomly like you might those you might like or you might also be interested in type videos it caused it to be shown on those and people were 
clicking on it, so. Yep, you guys, uh, you guys did it. Thank you. I see, I see the farmhouse over here. We might just be going there for the night. Is that a rabbit or is that a wolf? I think that's a, that's a rabbit. This is so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. Hypothermia risk. Oh, uh, you know what? We'll probably just stay in that little cabin. Or that little shed. Yeah, that's a pretty good little, little shed to camp out at. And it's really close to the road. So. Goodness. What a long trip today has been. A lot of traveling. There we go. The wind finally died down. A little bit. That was a, a lazy index finger right there. Just weighing a little bit too heavy on the D key. <laughs> start to start strafing right. Nah, that's on purpose. Let's try to see if there's a wolf around this. A little bend here. I don't think there is. I think we're, I think we're in the clear. Perhaps. What's our temp at now? Negative four. Yeah, it's still pretty cold. Still pretty cold, and we got a rabbit hopping around behind this little uh, cabin back here. So actually, you know what? Let's go this way. So that generally means the uh, coast is clear. Two of them, even better. Relatively wolf free. I'm trying to remember if there's like a little bedroll or like a makeshift bed in here. Maybe up in the loft or something. I can't remember. Huh. Alright. Well, there we go. Alright. Can I make it up there? I don't think I can. Oh, wait. There's a ramp here. Go up this way. And then, yeah, get up there, and then duck down. And then duck down again. Walk our way back, and maybe there's like a hay bedroll. I'm just curious. So I'm going to go look. Can't stand up yet. Plank. I guess you could tear this plank up if you wanted to. All right. Still can't stand up, otherwise I would. <laughs> Ah, this is going to be a nice place to chill out for the, uh, oh, you know what? I need to, I need to have my meds. I didn't have any. I didn't wake up and have any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's use that. Yeah. It should be down to one. Yeah. Okay. Glad I remembered before midnight. Almost missed my daily dose. So yeah, there's no, uh, there's no bed here. You got to. BYOB or BYOBR in this case. Yep. All right. So I'm just going to save it here and we'll end this episode here. Seems like a good spot. She needs to warm up a bit anyway. So let's go ahead and sleep here for an hour. See how we're doing when we wake up. We should be completely warm. A little bit starving. What else is new? All right, we'll pick that up. All right, guys. So uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for aliving. <laughs> Try again. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Leave a like. I greatly appreciate it that as well. So y'all take care. Be kind to each other out there. Look out for each other. Make the world a better place.